Today on A Commonly Good MTG, we're playing like Mardu Legendary Humans, which is a very interesting deck. You know, we've seen Mono White Humans, we've seen Boros Humans. Now we're seeing Mardu Humans, which means we're adding black into the red white mix. That means we're going to be seeing Ishin Two Heavens as one, an incredibly long card name, and Mishra, claimed by Gix, because apparently when you are a true Mardu card, you are going to have an incredibly long name. All right, so if that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host, and remember, 60% of the time, my decks win every time. Dr. Yukon Suck It! Yes, thank you! Film before live studio audience. Thank you so much. Yukon Suck It! Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters, and I'm bringing to you a deck I found over on the Aether Hub. Oh, wait, not Aether Hub. Untap GG. Uh, off of their uh, uh, tiered list, I think is where I got it today. I was poking around looking for anything new that was doing pretty well, and I found this one called Mardu Humans. So yeah, I played Mono White Humans. You play it all the time if you're playing in the top five. Um, I played against Boros Humans, which I liked quite a bit. This one's Mardo Humans. So you take Boros Humans, and you take a like a big canister of evil, and you shake liberally right over the top. So yeah, we're, we're playing with black, black, red, and white this time. And that's what makes it Mardu. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the cards that are in this deck. We'll talk a little bit about how this deck should work. And then we'll go out and we'll crush some hopes and dreams. All right, what have we got here today? We got a guy that gets you life. This guy, when you have four mana, you can go looking for other creatures and put them into your hand. This guy gives all of your humans plus one, plus zero, oh, and ward one. Destroys creatures, enchantments from planeswalkers. Uh, Kellen... Create map tokens plus one for each opponent that controls an artifact. And also, re when attacks, reveal the top card library. If it's a creature card, the mana value three or less, put it into your hand. Otherwise, you may put it into your graveyard. So, he helps to just make sure you're getting towards the stuff you want, I guess. Thalia makes non-creature spells more expensive to cast, which helps to pin your opponent down. This guy, you can discard a card. You can popo counter and target attacking creature. It gains trample. Whenever you discard one or more cards, you exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this until the end of your your until your next end step. Uh, we got Adeline. Every time that its power, Adeline's power is equal to the number of creatures you control. And whenever you attack with her or without her, as long as she's in play, you put out a one-one human creature token that's tapped and attacking. A man compel. Whenever you attack with a non-gnome creature, you put a popo counter on a man Pascal. And you create X one 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 the one colorless gnome artifact creatures tapped and attacking equal to the number of popo counters on Nymph Cal. So a lot like um Urbrass Forge, she gets bigger every turn. She doesn't even have to attack, you just have to have a non-gnome attack. We got Ishin, who says if a creature attacking causes a triggered ability of a permanent controlled trigger, you trigger additional time, which means you get two dudes which means you get twice as many dudes, and uh, that is fantastic, right? You get this, which two popo counters out. Uh, what else we got? Uh, looking at cards twice, I guess. Two life. So yeah, Ishin's going to just duplicate everything that's going on here. What else we got? Mishra. Whenever you attack, you, you, you count the number of creatures you have that are attacking. Your opponent loses that much life, and you gain that much life. And the rest of it doesn't matter because we don't have dr the dragon engines in here. So yeah, it's got vampirism. And then roaming throne will then double the amount of times that a human is triggered if it is triggered. You just have to select human when it comes out. Which means that you do twice as much damage. Or you pull out, like, if you got these guys out, like, like four times as many times. Or maybe it triggers twice rather than once or additional. Like once, twice, thrice. Something like that. Anyways, it's a lot. It's a lot. All right, so what are we going to do with this? Oh, yeah, we got a bunch of, of, of land cards to put out 
legendaries and put out humans. So no matter what their color, it doesn't matter. So that's why even though we have three colors in here, it doesn't matter. These cards will take care of that for you. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to get some guys out. We're going to start attacking as early as we can. But then eventually we're going to get up to this land, which is the land of threes. And things are just going to go nuts. So as long as they don't get killed, we should be good. And we'll just be swarming in them like crazy time. All right, so that's it. This is going to be an early aggro deck. We should have people killed by mid-game. Should not get very long into the game. Don't expect to get past four. All right, so before we go out and do our damage, let's do as we do every night. Let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Hands together. Dear Black King Toxrel, who dwells within the dark chambers of my heart, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. All right, we're playing against... Frobs. Frobes. Frobs. Something like that. Keep. What do we got? Slow stuff? All right, we're going to go. These are fast and painful. We'll go for it. Auto pay. Big fan of Anim Pakal. Oh, no red out yet. Okay. Well, that's going to happen. All right. Don't do anything. Just sit there like a dummy. That's what I want. I know you're going to put a guy out. Ooh, we got Gruel. He's got a lot of options, apparently, for two mana. Auto pay! That cost me dearly. All right, here we go. What are you going to do? you going to block the little gnome? Nope, you're just going to take it. Next turn, we'll be visited by special guest, Mishra. All right, come on, stinky feet. Good. You gonna stay back and defend? I could always just go for killing that thing too. Nah, he's just gonna go for it. All right, so that is 13, that's it. All right, down to two. I don't know if this is going to work out first or not. Uh, I need fourth. Auto pay. And all in. And we win. All right, no math. Victory. All right, we're playing against Reza. That's just like his mama named him. Three. All right, we're cool. Keep. Let's turn off that dragon. They get kind of uppity. Oh, I should have put it out as a human. I can do that my next turn here, right? Kill. I'm not even sure Kellen does. Up card, put it in your hand. All right, let's go for number three. We'll put out a min Pakal. 
Ooh, got some control back. That's good. What you doing up there? Uh, let's get rid of this this one. Nice. Ice right, down to five. We got get lost. Lost poor Mishra. But this is an instant. He's gaining life. That's disappointing. You put that dragon out. What kills it? Because he doesn't have any more mana. Wow, that was crazy. Okay. Anyways, that should be enough to finish the game. And my prediction was true. I'm a soothsayer. Victory! Alright, we're playing against Quicksilver. All right, three mana. We got Mishra. Interesting. This is going to be slow. I'm not going to be a big fan of it. This is all right. All right, so this helps out with the legendaries. We can do that. Just lifelink. Eh, I'll put it out. I'm disappointed in that, but uh, I, I can afford a little bit of screwing around here at the beginning, is what I'm guessing. I got no mana, man. I'm not going to be doing much against it. All right, you going to counter that? Not a fan. We have to kill that Dinric here pretty quick. All right, two more to the face. Trying again. Death. All right, cool. In we go. I'm not sure we're going to pull this one off. I mean, he's not putting out strong guys. In fact, we're the only thing making this dude strong enough. Nice. 
All right, I'm down to 11. Sweet googly people, what is going on here? Humans, get out Mishra. And in for two. That's going to be one point swap. I don't have anything to keep Mishra alive. I need a lot more mana than what I have. There you go. There's his key to success. I see he's got a counter spell in his hand. You got enough mana for it, man. There's two. All right, cool. Let's see what he does as far as blocking is concerned. And I'll go ahead and roaming throne. All right, if it kills Mishra, that's good. We got another one in our hand. But yeah, he's getting, he's basically vigilant and stronger every turn. And if he lets me go in with four, that's four life loss immediately. And then whenever I get through. All this land is killing me. And we win. Negative two. I'm not quite sure how that actually happened. Oh, doubled up. That's how it happened. Victory. All right, we're playing against old rocks. Uh, th those are like rhinoceros people. One, two, three. All right, keep. Oh, I see Chomper coming down. Looking all sexy in his sex wing there. All right, how you doing, Chomps? Uh, question is, can Adeline hold up against this mono red monstrosity? Size of her butt is going to be fantastic, though. All right, two. Uh, all right, nothing to do. We'll just shoot whatever comes out. One one's not that big of a deal. That's the guy we got to shoot right there. Let's wait a little bit. Wait till he gets to the attack phase. So he can't put those maps on. Oh, he's out of mana anyway. All right, let's go get big butt. The Mishras are nice. We can put them out on the next turn if we want to. Min Pakal, start making guys. We should probably get guys out is what I'm thinking. He attacks. Means he's got tricks in his hand. I'm not going to sacrifice Adeline for this guy. Here comes the pump. We didn't go for it. That's cool. Of all the red cards you can have, that's the one I appreciate you having the most. Do it again. Come on. You can pump your guy again.
Come on. Let's put a little min pallet there. It shouldn't be great for doubling it up. Okay, two guys. Down to 14. We're looking so much better there. Nice. Means he's, low, he's got one guy there. I was going to say, he doesn't have any guys to put out. Does have a guy. All right, 2-2. Two, two, not bad. I just got to avoid... I go with Min Catal. Adelan. Got to attack with somebody, right? If I do this, I can keep a guy open. Let's just attack with what we got. I don't care about the other two. There we are. All right, so if you try to kill one of my legends, I can keep the legends alive. That's what's important here. You want to kill the human, not the gnomes, huh? So I think he thinks he could take out Adeline with the cacophony scamp. All right, so that's five points of damage to something. I'd probably take out Minthakal if I were you. It's probably too late. Mishra is going to come out. You're going to be screwed. Mishra, Mishra, Mishra. We're going to... Oh, I like it when you wag your tail there. Isn't that right, Chomper? Look at the eyes. They're looking at you. No, right over here. Up, up top. All right, old rocks. You don't know it yet. I mean, if I'm going to lose 15 in this round, I would be surprised. You can bring out another bird. You don't have the man anymore. I need two mana is what you need. Yeah, two. You just wasted it all. You can't do it. Oh, that's it, huh? All right, here we go. All right, here we go. What are we getting? Getting one out of the deal. Can I sneak one guy past? Yes, we can. Go ahead and pee pants if you want. One mana, I can't. You can't win with one mana, man. You just really want to kill Adeline. All right, good for you. And we win. In your face, Charlie Brown. In your face. All right, we are playing against nah Nahul. Nahul. That sounds like a name. Two mana uh, mulligan. Let's go with that. It's still two mana, but it's better. All right, so we got Get Lost to help us out here. What's up with us going against Mono Red all the time? Let's just shoot that. All right, let's just call it. We're going to get the Get Lost out. We're going to get lost on him. He's going to try to pump that guy up. We're going to teach him what it's all the problems about. I used up all of his stuff. Cost me some blood, but uh, I don't have to deal with that crap anymore. All right, number three. You got a bigger butt? Who's got the bigger butt? We don't have any red, you know, I guess uh, we got, no, we got enough because that'll handle it.
No, you got your pump. Good for you. He's getting more out of it, but we just can't afford to bleed anymore. It's a problem. Look, this lack of mana is really bad right now. Like, getting Mishra would be fantastic. He's got a five butt. I can still slaughter her. You can, should kill Thalia when you got the opportunity. Yeah, there you go. Alright, come on. Not, not stupid mana again, huh? Alright, time for us to kill him again. Can't use him now. All it takes one shot to the face and we're out of here. He has the mana for it. Yeah, there it is. Alright, that sucked. That sucked. Everything was about was bad about that one. Alright, up and against Mordecai. That's a lot of weird vowel sounds in there. Keep. Watch this. And you don't get the crystal now. Suck it. Ooh, we're going first too. That is fantastic. All right, we'll human it up. We'll get out Thalia. Make things a lot more expensive for if he's putting down anything that's not a creature. We got Roaming Throne and Mishra. That's double the amount of life lost. It's paying for a slick shot. Slick shot. Another human. Let's go for Mimpital. And take it in. Get ourselves a gnome friend. Are you all upset because you can't get your crystal? I thought so. Like he wants to shoot something. Maybe he just wants to touch on my guys. We'll have to have a little talk in HR. About your inappropriate touching. Basically, if you try to shoot anybody, you would have to have something that only costs one. Because you only got unless you put another man out right now. Now you got it. I'm going to put out the black this way. We'll put out Mishra. And all in. Alright, down to seven. One more attack with Mishra at the helm and we will win, win City. He's got a shooter for five. He doesn't have uh, Thalius keeping him down anymore. We're back up to 18 life. That is nasty for you. All right, Mono Red, we are gonna we're gonna spank your butt and call you Sally. That's what we're gonna do. Look at your bear. He's got like fleas or something. All right, you got a single mana. Question is, do I want it now? I don't care. You're not gonna be able to kill me. I should just let it all pass. I don't want to ruin the risk, run the risk of uh, losing Mishra out. Oh, you think that guy's going to save you, huh? Those guys are flying. There's nothing I could do. I don't think you could dig yourself out of this. You only have one mana right now. Yeah, good for you, man. 
All right, here we go. Ready? Come on. And we win. Trial by fire. Trial by fire. Victory. All right, so we are with Mardu humans. Mardu humans. Um, trying to see, is there anything in here from Thunder Junction? It doesn't look like it. So it looks like we're, we're rolling like a relatively older. Oh, here, Kellen, the daring traveler. There, now he's from the last one. But Kellen, he gets around, doesn't he? Uh, all right, there you go. Because yeah, he's from um, Fairy Tale Land or whatever. He's been making the rounds in like every set for the last three times. Skeleton hands. Um. So, anyways, yeah, it was a great deck. It was really fun to play. It was good in aggro, and it wasn't. You know, Boros human or Mono White human. The question is, what is it about it that made it into Mardu? Is having to have black? Why do we need to have black for Mishra claimed by Gix? And why is because of his ability to do vampire stuff there? Uh, number of guys is the number of life they lose, the number of life you gain. We're not even playing with the uh, the dragon engine, which we could do. It is just not a human, so therefore it doesn't work out. Why do we have humans in here? So Roaming Throne can help him out, but that's only with triggered abilities anyway. Um, you know, Copper Court Vanguard helps out the humans. This is really in here for Mishra. Putting out double dudes for Adeline is cool. You know, the question is up to you. Do you really want to get rid of something and uh, put in the Dragon Engine just so you can go to Super Town on Mishra? Yeah, maybe. I think we played that earlier. It was pretty fun. But this was a cool deck as well. The one guy I was kind of weirded out by was Ishin, the two heavens is one. Reason why is because I like what he does. He causes stuff to trigger additional time, right? Great, which means that if uh, you attack just with Adeline, you got a Nim out there, and you have this guy sitting out there too, that you're going to, you know, this guy will trigger off, and this guy will trigger off, which means you'll create like, whatever, six guys or something like that, which is fantastic. And they're all attacking, and that is a fantastic way to go. And you're only attacking with just one guy, and you're just getting like a whole fleet of other dudes in the mix. But sometimes you want to attack with like all your guys, at which point then, oh, this guy doesn't, I just keep thinking of him as being a samurai, which requires singles. It doesn't matter at all. If a creature attacking causes a triggered ability. Never mind, this guy's fantastic for this deck. He doesn't require the solo a bit. He just looks way too much like Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's his only problem. It just looks too much like he's got lightsabers there, like Obi-Wan Kenobi went full on Sith or something. All right, well, there you go. So never mind. Yeah, Ishin's fantastic. He just is always used in the samurai decks, which only allows for one attacker at a time. But this guy doesn't need it, so he's great. All right, so there. Let's go ahead and talk about the MVP. Who was the most valuable player for this deck? Um, I would I would say that Mishra really is what takes this deck up to the next level. But for me, I think the one that really gets it going that you know regularly is probably going to be a Min Pakal. Just because you don't even have to attack with it, as long as you're attacking with a non-gnome creature, that you put out gnomes equal to the number of popo counters on an impical. And then you put an additional popo counter on Minpatal. Really, this a Min Patal is so much value, and she doesn't even have to attack. Kind of like Adeline doesn't even have to attack. You just have to be attacking at some point. And so as long as you get something other than a gnome out there, then a Nim Patal really goes to crazy town. And I think that, yeah, the comboing of a Nim and Adeline together is fantastic. Adeline, a Nim, and Ishin is even better. So, yeah, there's a lot of legendaries in here, and the uh, Plaza of Heroes really works well with that. But so I'm going to go ahead and give it to a Nim Pakal. You are once again my MVP for this particular deck. Not this, but I should say, you're once again my MVP. And for this deck in particular, you are its MVP. Congratulations, a Nim. You are really holding it together. All right, so was this deck competitive? I ended up with a 70% win rate. 70? What did I... I picked it up off of Untapped GG, and it said it had a 53.5%, 55, right? So, uh, yeah, you could expect to win, you know, a little over one out of every two. Uh, but I can tell you, when I played it, I won 70% of the time, which is well over uh, two out of every three games I ended up winning. Uh, I was playing on the ranked. I mean... I, 
reason why is because when I was playing over on open play today, it was just control, control, control. I couldn't stand it anymore. So I flipped over to the rank ladder because I figured I'd be playing against more aggro. And that definitely was what I was going against here. Lots of aggro on ranked. And I thought this deck did a lot better in that arena. So uh, that's why it did very well. Uh, 70%. All right, so let's see. Was this deck fun? Yeah, I had lots of fun. It did a good job of getting guys out early. We had things for one and two. Uh, Thalia helps to pin things down a little bit early. We have get losts in here, so we do have control. It appeared to be enough. I just like giving them uh, the, the maps that get lost provides. But with white and this cheap, you got to give them something. And uh, it, it's a 50-50. I mean, it feels that way as to whether they're going to get a land or whether they're going to get a popo out of it. Whatever, man. I mean, I guess it's fine. I wish, I mean, it's what you get when you play with white. We could always replace those with, with uh, reds, but the best we'd be able to do for two mana would be three points of damage. And get lost gets rid of lots of stuff. Like the big thing about this, it gets rid of enchantments, planeswalkers, and creatures. There's a lot of enchantments worth killing around here. So yes, this was a fun deck. I really appreciated the aggroness of it. And uh, it was it was fantastic. Was this deck interesting? Yeah, I mean, the reason why is because Mishra really made an interest. So did Ishin. Oh, that was where the other black came from. Yeah, this guy wants to be Mardu big time. And so, yeah, but these two guys added to this deck. Yeah, these guys really ranked it up. Because what I love about Mishra is that vampire, right? Whenever you attack for each, each one loses X life, which is the number of attacking creatures. And we create so many attacking creatures that this goes nuts. You mix the roaming throne with it. You got that giant burst at the end that makes this deck so incredibly fun, which is the fourth point on my uh, on my favorite decks list. That's what I, I like is something that has a big flashy into it. Mishra totally does it. Ishin totally works towards it as well by doubling it up a single time. Yeah, mixing it with these guys and we're good to go. So all together, yeah, there's this fantastic flash. You know, it's a standard deck. We're seeing a lot of it out there. This is probably what we'd call a net deck. I just haven't seen it that much being played. I don't think I played this version of it. So I did find it to be an interesting deck. And I did appreciate these two legends at the end there. All right, so let's add this up. Was this deck competitive? Absolutely. Was it fun? Yep. Was it interesting? I thought so. So I'm going to give this deck an A+. Plus. A+. Plus, which means that I am required by federal law to say... This deck is so choice. I would highly recommend you pick one up, should you have the means. All right, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. See you next time, Space Cowboys. Later.